about the post holy on the 9th of march i have a horse called rasputin running in the first race his last run was a little disappointing i hope he can make amends i've got apprentice boy mustakin alam running him let's talk about sandman as running tomorrow um last of course came second uh, over a distance of 1600 meters what are the chances for sandman <laughs> Uh well Aradna his chances are pretty bright though for the he's running um 2000 meters he's run once before when he was not at 100% he's running 2000 meters t- tomorrow which maybe maybe not to his liking let's hope it is more to his liking secondly i've got direct line uh golden neel has beaten me as well as golden neel has beaten rasputin and the verdicts are, the, are practically the same and the weight difference also is practically the same so rasputin and i come out very very close and i think the horse there is rasputin though zarak is also there in the reckoning because even though zarak has also won in the lower class and class 3 and come up and won now in class 2 i'm only a little worried about my horse getting the trip if he gets the trip then he'll be he'll take a lot of beating tomorrow and one more thing is yes i would have preferred vishal bunde but since the jockeys are had decided not to take any rides tomorrow i just feel that i've got an apprentice boy taking 3 and a half i hope he'll be able to handle this horse In the second race, I have a horse called Con the Wind Running, and we have to use the services of uh, apprentice boys in the absence of the big boys who are on a strike. So I hope she runs a good race too. So let's talk about uh, Zakapa and Kamil who are running um, the second race tomorrow. Uh, Zakapa and Kamil both are running in this race. All the as you know, only apprentices are riding in all these races. So uh, Zakapa could be a fluke. Kabil has yet to do something, so that's all I can say for this race. So you have a runner come back, please, uh, for the races tomorrow. How good um, are the chances for come back, please? Well, uh, she has ran a very uh, good race, fighting race, is two thousand four hundred meters, and as there is no longer distance race for her in her class till the end of season, I am running her in a fourteen hundred meter. Let's hope she does well. So you got Cordelia running for the races tomorrow. Uh, let's talk about Cordelia, sir. Cordelia's um, a lovely filly. She's uh, very well bred. She's she's a little um, should I say uh, a little nervous and a little scared. She lacks a little bit of confidence, but I think the run may have brought her on a lot and taught her a bit. So she's worked well, and I'm hoping that she runs a big race. I have a horse called Supreme Spirit. I have a decent jockey, Kaviraj, riding. In that race, there's a horse called Cordelia, very fashionably bred, trained by Mr. Shroff. He's a danger. So you've got Outlander running for tomorrow's races. Uh, what do you think are the chances for Outlander? I think he's got a bright chance. and it's a competitive set uh, with two other horses one of mr alta hussain's queen's pride and one is faisal abbas's mojo they both are very fast horses so it's going to be a very fast race five furlongs yeah. and i think i have i have a decent chance horse to run a good race very good race i think it is it is between these three horses yeah. and <laughs> whoever is the fastest will win fourth race i've got hilba clint and mirai mirai will uh, had a bad start last time but i think she will show a little bit of improvement she could be in the finish hilma clint is still to return to her old form just fingers crossed she does uh, i hope she finishes well that's all and you want to look out for in this field for them no nothing really they, they have to run up to their old form so let's talk about mojo who's running in the fourth race um, tomorrow how good are the chances for mojo um mojo has been quite a consistent filly and uh, I think Mr. Alta Fosain's horse, Queen Spride, um, will be a, a big danger for her because I think Queen Spride runs with an advantage, 
uh, of uh, getting three kilos from Mojo. And the last time the two of them had met, uh, Mojo just managed to win by a shot head. And now uh, having uh, another disadvantage of the weight of three kilos, I hope that she's improved enough to, you know, uh, again, get the better of Queen's Pride. But definitely she has to beat that horse. So you have a runner tomorrow, Queen's Pride, who plays third in the last race over a distance of six furlongs. What do you think are the chances for Queen's Pride? Queen's Pride, she ran a good race last time. She ran a third. But uh, I want to put Sandesh on uh, Queen's Pride because of the strike is not riding. I think she will run a good race. Last time she ran a third. And uh, I feel she need a whip. And uh, because of the strike, uh, I can't help it. Then I will put a five kilo along. She will run good race, and she work also well. Let's see tomorrow. Okay, so any dangers for this field for you? Two horses are there in Rihanullah Khan. <laughs> he, he, he was his working man last time. He ran a good second, and uh, the same boy is riding in that race. And the Mojo is there. Mojo last time she ran. Uh, I uh, last time in Pune. I just ran short a second with uh, Mojo and she also there. But inshallah, let's see tomorrow. She has a good chance tomorrow. Only thing I'm worried about the whip. Trinket, she's a average filly uh, who gives her best every time. But uh, she's, an, she's an average filly. So I think she should be in the placings, in the mix-up in the for the placings. I think uh, she, she should be third, fourth. That's okay. about it. If she wins, uh, we are very happy. We are very happy if she wins. Now, my last one is a horse called Sky Commander. There again, I have a Krish Bhagat riding him. Uh, his last run was disappointing. He's worked very well on Monday, last Monday. I hope he does well. Then in the fifth race, I have Charming Star, Prince Ego. Uh, Charming Star, I definitely think, will be in the thick of things. He's been working very well recently. The sixth race, Desert Fire, I think he's coming from a major setback. Will take some time before he gets going. First of all, a uh, major, major congratulations to you for, of course, uh, Juliet's amazing win um, at the Invitation Cup. Uh, what do you have to say? Well, uh, it was an amazing feeling back to back invitations. Uh, it's a dream come true for all the connections. Uh, and uh, it's a fantastic feeling. I can't explain it. You have to actually experience yes. this. And uh, we are very thankful to God that we are in this place at this point of time. Yes, all right. And of course, you've got uh, two runners tomorrow. Let's talk about them, Lord Vader and Trinket. Well, Lord Vader, last time he stumbled out of the gate and dislodged the rider. And uh, so he had no part to play in the race. So he's uh, subsequently, that day it was just an accident. So he's well, uh, he's worked well. I've put up uh, uh, Kirtish on him. So uh, he should be right there. He should be right there. So you've got SV running tomorrow, who's of course had two runs till now and uh, has come third in one and fourth in one. What are the chances for SV yeah, tomorrow? She's, she's been consistent in Bombay and she's had one win in Pune. So I think she, she should run a very good race. It looks a little open race. I think she should be there in the uh, in, on the board first three. I think the horses which are going to be there are Mount Senai, Sussing, and uh, you know there's another horse uh, called uh, Lion King. But I think she'll run a good race. I hope she comes out and wins. Mount Senai for uh, your races tomorrow also plays third. Uh, how good are the chances of Mount Senai? On Sinai, last time he ran a third and uh, he worked well. He had a decent chance, but I feel uh, in the beginning he will run in the, uh, Division 2, but he came in the Division 1. Then also he has a good chance and a uh, lot of horses there. And let's see, inshallah, tomorrow. 
anyone to look out for in this field sir two three houses i have been thinking that right? first i feel he will run in the division 2 but he came in the division 1 then also inshallah let's see tomorrow he has a, a good chance and he work also well and last race power of blessings if he takes a good start last time i took a good start and then dropped up and then came up so i up this trip to 1400 i think it should make a difference